What, it, what is the incongruency here that you're trying to resolve? Two of the greatest intellectual accomplishments of the 20th century, in my opinion, are Einstein's theory of gravity and the description of fundamental interactions in nature um, as described by particle physics. So things like uh, a description of, you know, quarks, fundamental particles, how they interact with each other that gives us a description of things like electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces. These sort of basic building blocks of matter, these fundamental Legos that we can hook together, they're described very well by, by quantum field theory. The issue, the, the sort of discrepancy between these two, is that each separately are able to make predictions that are incredibly accurate in our modern world. So we can make predictions to like 13 significant figures using either of these theoretical frameworks. there will be 13 decimal places. Right. 13 significant figures, yeah. I'm gonna okay. say that's pretty accurate. <laughs> it's pretty great, yeah. And like yeah. things like modern GPS wouldn't work without general relativity. So we have a lot of ways of testing these theories. They seem really robust and that they're telling us really important things about how the world behaves. Unfortunately, if you try and combine the two, so you try and describe phenomena that might need both tools. So for example, things where the interaction of particles and very short distance scales are in play, but also where there's really strong gravitation. So for example, inside a black hole, um, that would be a regime where you need both of these, these theories, these frameworks to agree and give you concrete predictions. And unfortunately, the theories break down when you try and combine them and you don't end up getting useful answers. You get very manifestly wrong answers. They're called disastrous infinities.